drive today, Rohit rides the Triumph Street Triple R at the Jerez Racetrack in Spain. Some 360 donuts served by David Coulthard at the Red Bull Mumbai show run. And we ride a new cruiser motorcycle from Kiwi, ready to battle in a space dominated by Harley Davidsons and Triumph motorcycles. Hello and welcome to Overdrive, I'm Soini Dutt. It's very hard to find faults with Triumph's three triple range of motorcycles and yet for 2023, Triumph has made their motorcycles a lot more powerful and sharper than before. Rohit got a chance to ride the Street Triple R in Spain recently and he tells us why these incremental changes make this motorcycle a convincing buy for 2023. The circuit of Jerez in Spain, it's an iconic MotoGP track. It is where a lot of battles have been fought, especially this last corner. It's seen some epic battles. Rossi versus Gibanao, Lorenzo versus Marquez. Now, this track is also very important for this company, Triumph. Why? Well, they became the official engine supplier for Moto2 with their 765 and they started testing it. The first time the test happened was in 2019 at this very track. So, that's the reason why the new Street Triple has been given to us at Heret. Super sport machines are unfortunately a dying breed and it's a pity that despite being at the peak of their racing involvement, Triumph have axed the Daytona for good. So if you still want to go racing with a middleweight Triumph Triple, your only option is the Street Triple RS, a very accomplished motorcycle that is back in a practically all new Avatar for 2023. And it has even brought along an even twin in the stunning Moto2 edition, which unfortunately is sold out and will not make it to India. Coming back to the Street Triple RS, it is now the range topper now that the Moto2 editions are sold out worldwide. Compared to the base Street Triple R, the RS can be identified with its exclusive paint options like the wine red seen here. The belly pan and the bar end mounted wing mirrors are another giveaway that this is the RS. But both these components can also be retrofitted on the R. Now you may not notice it visually, however, the rear end of the motorcycle has been lifted slightly compared to the regular Street Triple R. Now what they've done is they have a spacer on top of the rear suspension that gives it this angle. Also the rake angle is, is much sharper now. So essentially the seat height has gone up by 10 millimeters. So it is a bit of a perch, like is the case with the Speed Triple as well, but the narrower tank and the narrower seat makes the Street Triple RS quite friendly. However, if you think that 836 millimeters of seat height is going to be quite tall, well, you can always remove that spacer and get the seat to go down again. With the sharper rake, you also get a shorter wheelbase, a marginally shorter wheelbase on the RS compared to the R. So what that essentially means is, because it's a more aggressive riding Porsche, you're putting more weight on the front, so the front doesn't feel too floaty, it will not wheelie that easily despite the shorter wheelbase. And because the wheelbase is shorter, it also means that the bike feels quite stable even through the corners, it still feels quite agile, even if you're putting a lot of weight on the front, there's still enough traction. Corner instability is amazing. In fact, I don't remember when was the last time I was laughing so much inside my helmet with a middleweight naked. What allows you to push the bike harder still is the new suit of electronics which now use a 6-axis IMU from Continental. It brings along stuff like wheelie control but more importantly there is a less intrusive traction control system now which works discreetly on the road as we found out on the Street Triple R and even on the track you won't see the traction control light coming on that often. The RS also goes a step ahead with the track mode which allows the bike to have a certain degree of slip before the traction control will kick in. There's also a revised gearbox with a taller first and shorter subsequent gears. The low-end torque isn't as on tap as a KTM 790 or 890 Duke, but that also means the Street Triple continues to feel easy to ride to the groceries. While on the track, the mid-range pull is exceptional and allows you to ride in higher gears without falling out of the power band 
or without messing up the drive out of corners. We had three 20-minute sessions at the track and even as I picked up pace, there was no brake fade to complain about. By the third session, we also got a stiffer suspension setup that, coupled with the track time, allowed me to exploit higher lean angles and faster corner exits. You could also dial up the stiffness on the suspension because now you also have stickier rubber, the Pirelli Super Corsa SP version 3. So what that gives you is much better confidence even if you are running a much stiffer setup. In a nutshell then, I would say that if you've been missing the option of having a cracker of a middleweight motorcycle now that most of the 600s are dead or discontinued, I think the Street Triple 765 RS will suit your purpose whether you're riding on the road or the track or a bit of both because this motorcycle is a phenomenal package and a great balance between the two i think even though i know the r is going to be the the higher selling variant that's going to be the more popular choice if i had to spend my money or if i had to recommend a street triple to someone today it would be the rs because that superior suspension the superior brakes which are ideally track bred they also work superbly on the road it just feels like a nicer package compared to the r i don't want to take anything away from the r i think it's the most value for money offering in the street triple lineup but the rs is the one you want to spend that extra money on this is the one to go for if you had to choose between the two it's time to head into a very quick break here on the show but coming up on the other side 13 time grand prix winner david kota drinks some serious f1 action in mumbai city Yes, they're electric.